Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this lecture we will discuss about land pollution. So land pollution, this is uh, uh, an example of land pollution. So various uh, dust uh, material, dusty material like uh, paper, uh, cloths, waste cloth, waste paper, uh, uh, fields of potato, bananas, and uh, pillows, uh, waste sofa, etc. All these are combined on land and uh, produce pollution on land, which is known as land pollution. So, land pollution is the demolition of earth's land surface often caused by human activity and their misuse of land resources. So, the misuse of land resources by human activity is called land pollution. Land pollution occurs when waste is not properly disposed. Urbanization and industrialization are the main causes of land pollution. The increasing population and the increasing industry are the main causes of land pollution. So with the passage of time, population increases and the industry also increases to meet the need of uh, increase increasing population so due to increasing population and industries the land become polluted day by day causes of land pollution there are four main causes of land pollution the first one is construction second one is agriculture domestic and the last one is industrial waste we will discuss these one by one construction Building take of resources and land. Trees are chopped down and used to make buildings. Take away the places for animal and other organism to live. So with the passage of time, the population increases. Uh, people uh, construct uh, houses, buildings and other, uh, mm, other things. So the, these construction create a lot of pollutants on the land. So, these uh, pollutant, those pollutant which are uh, produced on the land uh, due to construction. This is this is example of constru construction pollution. So these are the various uh, waste which are produced from construction site, and this pollutant, these pollutants are called the land uh, pollutant. And these land pollutant produces land pollution. The second source of land pollution is agriculture, as there are more and more people inhabiting the earth, food is in higher demand, and so forests are chopped down and turned into farmland. In addition, herbicides, pesticides, artificial fertilizer, and animal manure are washed into soil and polluted it. So, people uses various herbicides, pesticides, artificial fertilizer, uh, natural fertilizer to increase the quality and quantity of their food and crops. So to increase the quality and quantity of their crops, cereal, food, etc., people use these pesticides, pesticides, herbicides and various fertilizer to increase the quality and quantity of their crops and fruits. So during the usage of these fertilizer during the uh, use during the usage of herbicide pesticide fertilizer when uh, we use these pesticide herbicide fertilize or uh, artificial and natural fertilizer after the use of after use after the use these fertilizer these pesticides and these uh, herbicides mixed with the rain water and produce land pollution. So these pesticides, herbicides and fertilizer are the main sources of land pollution. This is not these are not only the source of land pollution but when these pesticides, herbicide and fertilizer mix with uh, rain water or other waste water or domestic water then they create uh, land pollution as well as water pollution also. Domestic waste. The third source of land pollution are the domestic waste. Now what are domestic waste? Waste which are produced from homes, 
offices, industries, etc. are called domestic waste. So, the waste produces in the homes, offices, and industry, etc. are known as domestic waste. So, ton of domestic waste is dumped every day. Some waste from houses, offices, and industries can be recycled or burned in incinerator. So, some of the waste can be recycled. Now, what is, what is mean of recycling? The reuse, the reuse of the reuse of used material is called recycling. We can either recycle or we can burn the waste. So, we can burn the waste in the incinerator. Now, what is incinerator? Incinerator is a machine in which we are burning the waste material to produce uh, energy to produce power so, so these power can be used for electricity or some other sources so now and the incineration is a process by which we are burning the waste material to produce power or energy there is lo still lot of garbage such as a refrigerator washing machine that are dumped in landfill simply because they cannot be reused in any way nor recycled so as we have already discussed that some of the waste can be recycled for example uh, glasses uh, cups glass etc these can be recycled but uh, some material some substances or some material for example refrigerator washing machine these material are plastic bag these material cannot be recycled so these material are simply uh, dump in land so we can simply dump these material so when we dump these material these material can damage the life inside the earth so uh, these material are very harmful for the land uh, for those organisms which are present inside the land and these land these material can also uh, pollute the underground water so some material can be recycled some cannot be recycled the third source of land pollution are the industries so industrial waste pl plastic factories chemical plants oil refinery nuclear waste disposal activity large animal farm coal fire power plant metal production factories and other heavy industry all contribute to land pollution so various industries like thermal power plant coal fire power plant oil refineries nuclear power plants these all industry contribute to land pollution so this is an example of land pollution these are the various waste which are produced from the various industry and uh, these waste uh, uh, help in the land pollution so this was just introduction to the land pollution thank you very much for your attention if you are new to my channel please like and subscribe